Today's video should be relatively quick. We're going to be covering out changing the gear and differential oil on an R53 Mini. I believe it's very similar to the R50, but don't quote me on that. All you're going to need is some sort of 8mm hex key. You can either use an Allen wrench or you can use one on a socket. You'll need your fluid. It takes MTF94, which is very similar to 75W80W GL4. If they have it at a parts store, great. You can go up or down just a little bit, which is why mine is taped up. So do what this says, not what I do. I believe the go-to is Redline, but I didn't have time to order some, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try this out. It is a full synthetic and it should work perfectly fine. And then you're gonna need a transfer pump. So this one will screw right on. It's got two different lid sizes you can see in there. So it'll attach to this lid or another style lid if you got like a gallon size of this and you just pump it up. So we're going to get under the car real quick. This shouldn't take very long. You should be able to do this in under half an hour, including jacking the car up and putting it back down. You're going to need two quarts of this because you're going to need a quart and a half. So it'll give you a little bit of extra in case you spill or need to top it off in the future. So let's slide under the car. I'll show you where you're going to be working and hopefully this will be pretty quick. Right now the camera is in the middle of the engine facing towards the left side front wheel or the driver's side in North America. You can see the top plug is the fill plug and the bottom right here is the drain plug. Always undo the fill plug first. Otherwise, if you get this one undone, drain all the fluid out and you cannot get the fill plug open, you will have no way of putting any fluid back in your transmission and you will be in some serious trouble. So to avoid that, just always break that top one loose first. These take an eight millimeter hex, like we said earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and attack this top one up here. And we'll get to the bottom one, we'll drain it all out, and we will start pumping. Well, that was violent. Depending on the level and the angle of the car, go ahead and put the drain pan underneath it now, just in case a little extra fluid comes out. So as you can see, we do have some draining out the top, which tells me it was filled to the correct level. So I'm gonna adjust the drain pan just a little bit so I can break this bottom one loose. So now that it's broken loose, we should be able to do it the rest of the way by hand. So we'll pull our drain pan back in. And just to forewarn you, if you've never done this before, it does smell horrible. Whether it's brand new or it's really old. It doesn't appear that this is magnetic, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to see if we have any sort of problem with our synchros or anything like that. So unfortunately this is not a magnetic drain plug, but I'm sure they are available if you wanted to upgrade to one. So we'll let that drain and then put this plug back in place and with that we can start filling. Now that everything is drained out we've got the drain plug back in place and we have our hose running from our pump up into the fill hole and what we're going to do is we're going to hand pump all of this out. We're going to do this entire first quart and then we're going to keep an eye on it and do about another half quart. We will know that it's full when it starts to drip out just at the very top of our fill plug, just like it was when we opened it up. So get ready for a good five minutes of sitting here hand pumping. Your arm will get sore, but luckily you only have to do this about every 50 or 60,000 miles. So you can see it's just starting to drip out. So we're gonna pull the hose back out. And grab our plug. So now all we have to do is torque each of these down. I believe it's 20 foot pounds. If it is not, the corrected number will be on the screen here somewhere. And once those are torqued down, we're all done. So hopefully that'll help some of you guys if you're changing out your diff and trans fluid. Again, synthetic MTF94 is what you wanna to go to. You can kinda of get a little lateral of that, go 7580 if you have to, and Redline is probably your best bet if you're gonna be tracking your car. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to drop those in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next week.